Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I don't know why it took me so long to make this video because my channel is literally dedicated towards my beta fish. So I am so sorry about the delay but here it is and without further ado, let's get started. So let's first talk about the minimum tank size. So the minimum tank size for a beta fish is 2.5 gallons. However, bigger is always the better. So if you're able to upgrade to a bigger tank size, that is A plus for you. Also, when a beta fish makes a bubble nest, that doesn't completely mean that they're happy. They do this because that's their natural instinct. So now we're gonna talk about the necessities. Betas need heater, filter, and thermometer. Many people assume that betas do not need heater to survive. And this is why betas are so popular amongst people that do not have that much knowledge or money because they think that setting up a beta fish tank is easy and cheap. And as a beta lover myself, this personally makes me really mad because that is so untrue. Betas are tropical fish, so they need 74 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. And just because they can survive without heater, that doesn't mean that they'll be happy. And also, just because they're just a fish, that doesn't make them less of an animal. As for the filter, betas are not the greatest swimmers in the world, so I recommend a filter that has slow moving current or a sponge filter. Also, fun fact, betas can survive without an air pump. Unlike any other aquarium fish, betas have special respiratory organ system called the labyrinth along with their gill system. The labyrinth allows them to breathe small amounts of air, which is pretty awesome. So, as for the feeding, Beta's stomach is literally the size of their eyeball. So, I recommend feeding them three pellets in the morning and three pellets at night. Some people just do three pellets a day and they end with that. It's really up to you, but I don't recommend using flakes because flakes can get super messy and also don't follow the direction that they have on the fish food it says feed them as much as they can consume in two minutes that is overfeeding so don't do that this part is highly optional but if you guys are subscribed to me and haven't watched my videos you guys know that I am obsessed with live plants and that is because there are so many benefits that it can provide for your fish tanks so I guess the biggest benefit is that it can produce oxygen, absorb carbon dioxide, ammonia that your fish creates, and also it can create that natural environment for your fish. But if you're still a little iffy about having live plants, I recommend getting silk plants or any soft plastic plants for your betta fish since betta fish's fins are very delicate and that goes same with any decorations that you are going to get for your betta fish. As for the water change, the smaller the tank, the more water changes you have to do because of the ammonia buildup. So going back to the minimum tank size, if possible, try to get a bigger tank because frequent water changes can stress out the fish. So I get this question asked a lot and the question is, is it okay if I house my betta fish in a small temporary tank? So small as in smaller than 2.5 gallon tank. So like a half gallon or one gallon or something like that. And betas are naturally a hardy fish. So they can survive, but will they thrive? No. So that's my answer. If it's temporary, I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. But it's kind of like saying, if I lock you up in my restroom with food and water, will you be okay? Yes, for, you know, maybe a couple days or so. But uh, will you be happy? Probably not, because you are locked into the restroom with just food and water, and what else are you gonna do? And keep in mind that you don't have your phone or Wi-Fi or anything like that, so you're just stuck there. So that's my answer. <laughs> So last night, I was doing a live stream and a lot of you guys wanted me to give you guys a nickname just like how Challenge the Wild has a nickname for challengers. So I was actually thinking about this for a really long time but I wasn't sure if it was suitable for my channel and now that I think about it, I think it suits my channel perfectly and 
the nickname itself is just perfect. So I came up with the nickname Stay Bubbly and the meaning behind that is I have two reasons. Number one, every time I talk to you guys in front of the camera like this, I'm always smiling and I get comments like, you smile so much, it kind of you know, radiates that vibe, so I smile. So I'm really glad that my happiness is bringing you guys happiness <laughs> because that is one of my goals, is to share my fish hobby and to educate you guys, but also to share my happiness with you guys. So I'm really glad that my happiness is bringing you guys joy and the second reason being that the month of June was a very very crappy month for me I was almost killed I was robbed I lost my job at Disney and I ended a one-year relationship but regardless I managed to stay happy because of you guys you guys helped me out so much in that video that I posted about how I was almost killed and robbed. You guys were so supportive and so kind. Again, even though I'm just a stranger that you guys are watching from a device, you guys cared so much and that just really, really touched my heart. And I can't thank you guys enough. I really didn't think that you guys would care for someone that you guys never even met before. And Oh my gosh, I'm going to start crying again. <laughs> so stay bubbly means to stay happy and to stay positive because eventually positive things will come. When you hit that downfall, you're eventually going to come up. And that's my little nickname for you guys, to stay bubbly. So if you guys watch till the end, put hashtag stay bubbly so I know that you guys watched the whole video. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. So stay bubbly my little bubbles and I love you guys so much.